Hi guys, in today's tutorial I would like to show you how you can set up some basic clocks. I want to show you some basic circuits that I'm using quite often in my redstone builds, so you can use them in your redstone contraptions as well, and clocks are definitely one of them. I'm seeing this clock being used quite often still, but I think that there's a better alternative to this clock which consists out of a repeater and a redstone torch which uh, turn each other on and off all the time, because I think that there's kind of two flaws with this design, which is one, that uh, putting up an input to this so you can turn it off is not that easy, and B, if you want to have a two tick clock, this doesn't work with this design because the torch will just burn out. But first up, let's take a look at this one. This might be familiar to most of you because this is called a one tick clock and what this does is that it gives one tick pulses through the output. How this works is actually quite simple. We're using a redstone input of power level 15, putting that to the front and then it gets less and less, so 14 and 13, which gets subtracted from 15, which is two, so it's then two and one and zero over here, which turns the output off and then it goes of course back to 15 and so on and that always switches within these two ticks and that is also the reason why you can only take the output from the side here and not from this redstone piece because this is always toggling between 15, no, 14 and 1 and this one is be toggling between 13 and 0 so this turns on and off. But you can change this around to also be able to have a different length. And I've got this set up over here. This one here is quite slow now, it's a 9 tick clock. And the way I've set it up is pretty simple. We're just putting the output from the comparator through some repeaters and putting that into this redstone line here which subtract the output which is then 0. And this goes on and on in the circle. And the cool thing about this is that you can expand it however you like. So uh, for example, I could change that over to a two tick uh, clock, then three tick because one tick from here, two from here, four tick and five tick. And I can also add more repeaters to this to make it possible so I've got a slower clock. But if I want to go even slower, then people tend to use a hopper clock. And this is the design that gets used most often it's kind of a flip-flop out of two sticky pistons with a redstone block and if I put items into here you can now see that those items will flow over to the side here where they then change the output of the flip-flop and uh, then it goes back again. For each item that we put into here we get 0 0.8 seconds so this is then uh, ten, uh, 8 seconds now for this one because I put in 10 items and um, it will always just swap the output. But I think that another design for this might be more useful for you because this is using pistons and does noise, while this one here is completely silent and uh, does basically the same thing. As you can see, the output just changed here. It's also 10 items inside, so we get eight seconds. But since this one is a little bit more 3D, I want to quickly show you how you can set this up because it's super simple to set up. So let's just start by putting down the two hoppers like this. And then we just take the output from one of the hoppers with a comparator, which I can grab, just grab from over there put it into a block which powers a redstone down below and that then powers a repeater which will block the hopper over here. So that is the first part. Then we need to have kind of a uh, yeah, flip-flop built into this as well. So we'll put a redstone torch which will power the redstone next to the uh, comparator. This is a little bit of a flip-flop. And then we also block the hopper from here and uh, then this is already kind of working. We just need to toggle the input, which is this block over here, whenever this one is empty. And therefore we just put a block here, a comparator, so we detect if there's an item inside. And if there's no item, we just put an input into the block there. And then we can put in our items and this is already working. So now you can take two different outputs from this. One is over here, which is always half the time on and half the time off. And over here, you get just a single pulse once it is changing over, which I think is quite convenient for this. So if you want to build a hopper timer, which is silent, I recommend this design here. And if it's just a short delay, then I highly recommend 
developed using this design with the repeaters, but I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends and I hope then to see you in the next video. Until then, have a great day!